Good morning fellow pilots, it's Angry Turtle and today I have video for you about what and when unlocks because I have those questions so often how you can see some weapons on my video and it's not on yours and reactors and so on. So I will show you how it's changing when you level up so you can plan when you should be looking for another upgrade to your ship. That's on level 5. As you can see, selection of weapons is non-existence. It's not even a point to spend anything on a weapon upgrade now, but we'll be jumping to level 10, 20, 50, so on. I mean every 10 levels and I will show you the important changes that are occurring. As well, at level 5, the most powerful reactor is 20 power and it requires starship design, so... I don't even know why it's why it is here. Doesn't make sense. At level five, you cannot even have starship design at all. As you can see, at level ten, already selection of weapons is going up, but we still don't have any of the best weapons available. Oh, as well, I will not be hopping vendors, as this video would be absolutely too long. But this is the vendor that has the most items at least from the weapon category and reactor. And it is my favorite vendor located at Neon. For the cargo, your options will go up as you level up to this moment 200 is about standard and highest. Cosmetic items do not change with uh, level. Uh, some of the cockpits will appear because cockpits, a part of being cosmetic, have cargo, but will focus on the most important ones. Engines will be going up, like there is already another A-class engine that's really good available that wasn't before. Grab drive at level 10, the best I can get is 20 grab jump thrust. The best realistic reactor is 18 power at level 10. And the best A-class shield is 390. There is class B and C, but it's doubtful that will be your ship at level 10 that's a level 10 choices so if i would need to choose a weapon i will take pb 30 and put full power into it just put two of those at level 20 as you can see already much bigger selection of weapons and from notable weapons pb 30 pb 30 auto electron beam appears so finally a good weapon you can equip uh, as well as PBO100 for B-class Auto Neutron Beam appears. So you have two good weapons and there are weapons locked behind Starship Design too. So PBO40 Auto Electron Beam is already available for Class A, but that requires max out Starship Design. Those are available as well as Ravager 20 MEV Auto Electron Beam as well, Starship Design, this rank 1 surprisingly only. And there is a first turret, but it pulls laser, so not a good one. So at level 20 you have some decent options finally from the weapons. There, there are cargo containers appearing that can hold 300 cargo, still nowhere near close the best ones and the ones that do require Starship Design go up to 950 now. So. The first good cargo options are appearing. There is next version for about every engine, the version number three, as you can see, there's three engines of almost all of them. And then higher class engines are appearing too, like C and B. The grab drives are upgrading, 23 jump trust for class A and no requirements, as well as class B with 25 thrust and no requirement from reactor 28 power for class a but that starship design max out without starship design you have 20 power options as well as bigger reactors for class b and c still maxing out at 29 power 29 power is already really good but that's of course class c so piloting is required piloting is required to use class c at all so that's why it's in here. So not a bad option. That's the first, in my opinion, good reactor for class C. Slight upgrade for the shields for class A going up to 440. Class B and C go much higher and 
For class A, if you have starship design max out, there is first 700, almost 700 health shield. Still not the best shields that will be available soon. Class C, 730 power. And now at level 30, the selection of weapons goes up. Still for class A PBO 30 auto electron beam, the best one, as well as there should be a vanguard auto electron beam, but I use a fresh character, so there is no vanguard. And if you scroll down, there is more slightly, slowly, those nice red painted turrets are appearing, but just a regular one yet at level 30, so a little bit more weight before the more powerful auto versions will appear. Still PBO 100 for class B dominates, PBO 300 for class C, and more turrets locked behind a starship design requirement. And behind the starship design, there is Ravager 20 MeV auto electron beam. So those are the most powerful that are appearing, but do require a starship design. So if you want to think about any of those, Eradicator, Auto Neutron Beam as well for Class B. So all those are appearing here level 30, but do require starship design. The cargo option goes up greatly, 1200 cargo, but again, starship design will be required. More selection of higher grade engines for all classes, but requiring starship design. There is nothing really new appearing there is nothing really new appearing for regular Starship if you don't have a Starship design. Finally, the grab drives. You can buy 20 free jump trust option for class, class A without any additional requirements. And if you have Starship design, the drives go up to 27 trust and 30 trust for class B. And for class C, there is still no special drive. So even at level 30, there is no dedicated class C drive. Finally, there is way more reactors, but all of them require starship design or there are high class that do require piloting. Still nothing more than 29 for class C. So reactors, the best one, you still need to wait. At this point, there is more shields, but they all do require a starship design. You can get 700 shield for class A, and you can get first time 1600 shield for class C. Starship design required. So this is the super powerful shield available at level 30. At level 40, you have basically all the best weapons. Choices are growing up. Unfortunately, there is not much more if you don't have any Starship design. But if you do have Starship Design perk, then finally there are turrets appearing. And the good ones, like Eradicator, Auto Neutron Turret, PBO 100 Auto Neutron Turret, then you have as well PBO 300 Auto Alpha Turret for Class C. For Class C, Obliterator Alpha Beam is appearing, but not the Auto version yet. The Galleon with 1480 appears. So cargo is improved. There is even more engine choices, especially in the C and B class, but as well more upgrades to class A engines like this White Dwarf 3030 engine with a lot of maneuvering thrust and the little RS DT60 that only needs two power and push out 2,600 maneuvering thrust on class A. And class A is important because class A is the one with 150 speed. The grav drives requiring, unfortunately, Starship design, but started to exceed 30 and even this one, 36 jump thrust. And for class C, unfortunately, less. I don't understand usually the logic, but on class C ship, I would put class B grav drive because it's more powerful. And for the reactors, there is no change if you don't have any starship design or higher class. But if you do have higher class ship, there is a new reactor, Fusor DC402 for class C, pushing out 34 power. From the shields, 
1600 for class C remains the most powerful, but 1500 appears for class B. And the best class A shield is now 600 with 6 power required. And now as we go to level 50, there is even more weapons and the most powerful weapons finally appear. They do all require your starship design perks, but you have the most powerful weapons now available like for class B. There is PBO 175 Auto, Exterminator 95. Oh wait, no, there is no Auto Exterminator 95 just yet. So even at level 50, this weapon is still missing. There is a selection of turrets available. So yeah, there, there is still not all the weapons at level 50, not all the weapons yet available. Best cargo options lim remains 1480. There is more engines for class C more powerful ones like those SAL engines that only require two power and offer insane maneuvering thrust, as well as more powerful Poseidon and say 5550 engines for class B. So engine options grow. Finally, class C, good class C drives appear with 38 jump drive power and 45 grab jump thrust. So this is the best, I think, at this moment. There are two different options with 45 thrust. For class B, it looks like 36 is the maximum. And for class A, 27 thrust is the maximum on class A at level 50. Reactors, there is 38 power available for class C, 31 power available for class B, and 33 power available for class A. The shields for class A, there is 730 shield available. The strongest, the strongest class C shield remains at 1600. At level 60, finally, Exterminator 95 MEV Auto Helion Beam is available. So you will need to wait until level 60 if you want to have all three most powerful weapons on your ship because this one is number three unlocking at level 60 other weapons there is more suppressors appearing and more variants there is obliterator 250 auto beam and the turret all the turrets available if you want to create your ship with the best weapons at level 60 finally all those weapons that you will need are available cargo option no change 1480 the biggest there is even more engines at this point more options available the new and first grab jump of trust 50 for class c appears more power to grab drives for the reactors first time ever you will have 40 power ge generators available and those are the most powerful in the game 40 power at level 60 and for class b it will go up to 35 power class a 33 power the strongest gen shields for class c it remains 1600 power to the shield i mean hit points for class b you have 1100 shield for class b you have 1500 shield so not much weaker than class c and higher regen rate and for class A, first time 800 shield version is available. And those are the weapon options at level 70. Honestly, I don't know if anything new really appears as at level 60, there are already all most powerful weapons available, but I'm scrolling through the list. In case I miss something, let me know. The cargo options, no change. I think at this point engines are not progressing anymore either. The same options available. The most powerful jump drive remains at 50. Most powerful reactor 40, still the same. No changes to the shield options. So I think it's safe to say that by the time you will get level 70, you have everything unlocked. I even think that it's level 60 already. Level 50, there wasn't everything yet. So it looks like it maxes out at level 60. Maybe something appears still after level 60, but at level 60, you already have all the stuff 
that you will need. So that is the overview how the stuff unlocks. I hope it will be helpful for you. There were so many questions what and when. So that should give you some idea of the timeline when you should go for another Starship upgrade. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.